feel so lonely. I'd give the world if I could only make you understand. It surely would be grand. I'm going to telegraph you, baby. Ask you, won't you please come home? Cause when you're gone, I worry all day. Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Hyphestus Prime, Wellington 6012 here, hope everybody is all fit and well today, well we will just get straight into it today I think, and yeah, what we're going to do is make an orbital supply ship, so this will be a drone, uh, sort of I guess a rocket, uh, I am intending to have it multi-stage, so probably have some sort of atmospheric boosters on the side with a bit of extra hydrogen lift so yeah I'm keen just I don't think I actually need to do that I just want to do that so I can have a bit of a bit of a try out of doing a multi-stage rocket now I was sort of planning to do this at a later time uh, but uh, I figured now's as good a time as any because I do need to resupply the Sirius orbital platform need to send up uh, some ice so I can recharge the oxygen and also about a hundred or so uh, reactor components so I can uh, complete the second one of those and that way I can uh, make use of the uh, safe zone yeah and switch that on because there's all sorts of nasty things flying by up there so yeah um hmm. so that's that's the plan for today I yeah I've got a bit of an idea of how I'm going to do this but uh, I also have no idea how I'm going to do this, so we'll just have to play it by ear. So what I'm sort of starting with is using a 3x3 connection all the way up the middle. So that's starting off with the uh, connector at the bottom, and then a medium container, and then a large uh, hydrogen tank. And yeah, then there'll be medium cargo containers continue up through the middle right up the top. And either side of one of those containers will be some merge blocks and connectors so that I can have some uh, boosters on the side and yeah and there'll be another yeah connector at the top because when it gets up to the Sirius uh, orbital space station it's going to connect into the connector that's hanging out the bottom between the two uh, hydrogen tanks yeah so that's the sort of plan there, and I'm intending to set the booster rockets up in such a way that uh, they'll provide most of the lift for the first, you know, sort of 5,000 odd metres, and that the main unit will sort of drain drain the tanks as well, so hopefully they're empty. So hopefully by the time we get up to sort of 10,000 metres and the gravity's starting to reduce, the actual main unit is still fully fueled, and then everything else will just, the boosters will drop off and float back with a parachute. Um, now, this is going to take quite a while, I think. I have no idea where stuff's going. So I'm just going to muddle my way through it. And I think the best way to do that is going to be with one of my sped up edits. Uh, because, yeah, I'm just not going to be able to keep track of this. So, uh, yeah, let us... Uh, we'll, we'll do maybe... Hopefully I can break it down, like maybe do the main unit first and then do the boosters um, so yeah I'll give that a whirl alright stand by for the first montage
Okie pokey. So that is uh, all done. Well, not all done. The main sort of unit's done. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, taken quite a bit of effort to get it to uh, this stage. <laughs> I've already done the edit for the montage thing. And now I'm just sort of back into it. So that four minutes, I've squashed down about two and a half hours <laughs> of build time. I moved everything so many times to make it all fit. But uh, yeah, it's come up real well. So yeah, I've got the like the hydrogen tank just tucked away in there. Behind all these panels, there's all sorts of stuff like uh, the beacon and things. And then as it sort of tapers up and yeah, it just it was an effort it was a massive effort and these backward thrusters i've just gone with two i originally had four but i hopefully two will be enough because i'm only going to use them in orbit so yeah it's uh hopefully that's enough because i sort of kind of forgot them <laughs> but anyway uh but yeah got these little mini tanks on here so that's that's uh quite cool uh just a bit of um interest on the outside so there's more than enough hydrogen uh, stored on board and yeah I've gone with these sort of um, handles <laughs> I don't know but kind of reminiscent of Thunderbirds Thunderbird 3? the rocket ship yeah I mean I'm of that generation so that's where a lot of a uh, lot of my sort of inspiration comes from so what we'll do now is uh, grab some bits and pieces and we'll start uh, getting to work on the boosters. Now I'll be using merge box so I can control the thrusters and looking at three atmospheric thrusters and three hydrogen thrusters. So that'll just give me a nice amount of boost to get up and yeah certainly through the atmosphere uh, the early stages of it so the thrusters give out i think at about 5000 meters or just after uh, but i'll have those extra three hydrogens just to keep pushing me as well and yeah they will then break off probably i'll see about 10,000 meters or something when gravity starts reducing and the thrusters at the base of the main unit should be able to uh, do enough so I am expecting there to be quite a load in this on occasions, whether it's ice or iron ingots. So certainly when I get my uh, Mars ship building, I mean that's really what this is going to be for, is ferrying up resources to make that Mars ship. And that's still a long way off yet, I'm not doing that anytime soon. But uh, yeah, the idea is, is that it's going to be remote, and then I'll just um, basically load it up hit the button and it'll just come up to orbit by itself I'll be there waiting for it or following it or something because there's no cockpit on here of course and then I'll um I'll when I'm done I'll just sort of hiff it back off into orbit <laughs> and uh, just let it um, float down because there are parachutes on here so there's going to be I think two on the boosters and there's four on the main unit already and they're sort of up quite high so that yeah it should stay up right hence having landing gears so there's one on the bottom of the main unit and there'll be one on the bottom of each of these uh, boosters here as well and just got the pistons as well so that they do extend past the thrusters and connectors and things so there's really no risk of things blowing up all right so i know i've only just finished a montage but i think it's time for another quick one and yeah we'll finish off these boosters well, we've only just started them really so <laughs> do do the middle bit and finish them off and then we'll um do a projection and put one on the other side as well stand by
Alrighty, just going to use this uh, explorer buggy as a little bit of a um, little bit of a base command center, as it were. I just want to be able to have a bit of a look at what's going on here. Okay, so we'll just park that up and right, have a bit of a look. So these have come out quite well, I think. I'm sort of happy with how the whole thing looks. It's very uh, in the style of the other stuff. I mean, I know the colour helps, but yeah, it's kind of, you know it's come from this base. So these are the boosters. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, tanks on them. So I'll set it up in such a way that for the first little while, it'll just go off these six, well, 12, because there's some on that side. Uh, just go off these tanks so these will probably be on stop pile and then yeah once it gets up to a certain level I will uh, it'll detach and then these tanks will take over so that's that's the theory there and yeah a couple of uh, or couple three so six all together atmospheric thrusters so yeah I'll just have to work out how it all sort of goes and what it does uh, in regards to thrust and what I need to get it going so what we'll do is we'll load this up with some stuff now. So I'll just go into here and just do the ship inventories. So we've got uh, one, two, four, three, uh, five, six. Six one somewhere. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. There is six. Oh, yeah, there it is. Six. Oh, and there's the little reactor, which I've got some uranium for that. Uh, I'll just I'll put that uranium in a minute once I disconnect it. But for now, we just need some ice. So I did do some ice mining, and yeah, that uh, had a little bit of a hiccup. So where the cradle, the transport cradle for the Sirius, uh, dropped off and fell on the floor and dented it, uh, damaged a few of the conveyors and unknown to me until I tried to sort of fill them up yeah so that's a bit unfortunate but anyway I got that resolved and got some more ice in there it's just a shame to waste it and now reactor can it's the whole purpose of the trip up so let's not forget those and yeah so that's uh it's all full I think oh no got another container there right so now what I'll do is I'll just uh, unlock this. So we have got the um, landing gears there, which have got it connected down on the ground. And then I will just put screens in there. Awesome. Okay. So now I need to go through and... Uh, oh, it's powering it. Is there on recharge? I thought I had the other ones on recharge, but... Anyway, I'll uh, go into here and we'll jump into it and I'll need to set up the uh, toolbar configuration so shift K to jump into this menu and there's the remote orbit thing there and where are we? Remote, right, remote, remote, there it is. So if we control, we can't control that. Oh, because our antenna's not on, that's why. Maybe we'll try that again. Now we can control it. Awesome. So I've already got a few things set up there. So what I'll do is I'll go through and set up the toolbar, and I also need to set up some timers so that uh, when I just hit a single button, the uh, boosters will detach, turn off, uh, make sure that the parachutes are going, uh, all that sort of thing. Yeah. So that's the plan there, and then I'll uh, just set up some other timers and stuff as well, because even though I'll be piloting it this time, or from the ground, uh, I will it will be set up in such a way that it's not going to need piloting, which will be just basically point it up and press go, and then after so long, then an autopilot will kick in, so yeah, it's just going to need to orbit and then autopilot later. Hmm. Right, uh, leave this with me and uh, I'll come back when it's done.
Good morning. Right, so a uh, little bit of an update. What I've done is a few bits and pieces that I'll go through. Now I have had a couple of test flights which haven't gone up into orbit, just uh, really making sure that things work and um, yeah, they didn't work a few times. So one of the things that uh, caused me an issue early on was this piston which was one block higher and so it was clanging a bit. Uh, which I didn't record it but um, have you seen that episode of Top Gear where they send the Reliant Robin into space and everything goes well, the boosters drop off and then it just makes a very nice arc over into the ground. Kaboom. Um, but yeah, that's all good. I just uh, saved before I did that and respawned. So what I've done is uh, I'll just go into here. Now I've got a few of these timers set up and I've got them set up on the toolbar of the... I think I'm just about to fall off here. Right. So yeah, that's what I was saying. I've got these timers set up and I thought I'd just go through what they sort of do, the launch one, because there's so many things I've got set up on it. So it makes sure stuff's turned on. So antenna on, unlocks all the landing gears and retracts them and turns the main uh, fuel tanks on the main unit to stockpile so that it uh, draws out of those uh, units on the boosters first. If we go into the second uh, menu, it turns on all the batteries, uh, turns off the reactor because I have a habit of beginning to leave that. Uh, I don't need it on while the batteries are going. And yeah, I always forget to turn it off. Uh, turns on the atmospheric thrusters and the fuel tanks and the hydrogen thrusters that are actually on the boosters and also turns on the main thrusters as well and they are set to full um, override so they're going full bore and disconnects the connector and then we turn off the front the two forward facing uh, thrusters turns those off and I don't want that on there we'll get rid of that don't want the autopilot on and then there's this other thing here the thrust override so what this is doing is every it's I've worked it out so it's about 35 k's up so there the maximum thrust there's like 20 increments that that timer will do so if I just go into one of those decreased yeah decrease so I've got it recycling so it decreases it by one notch every 17 seconds so by the time it gets up to you know 35 odd kilometers which is in the other one here uh, that one there so yeah, this will stop that timer from recycling. So it doesn't go right off, it just goes down to the last one, which uh, is 5 minutes 43, which if we go into time... Yeah, um, I think it was 3.42. So 3.42 is like 19 cycles, and then it gets down to sort of one tick just above being off override. And if we go into the um, hydrogen up ones, so you can see that's at its minimum at the moment. Uh, one more, if it re redid it once more, it would go and turn the thrust override off, and then we'd do our braking and inertia stuff. So, so basically, as it goes up, it's going to automatically reduce the thrust in there by saving a little bit of fuel. Now it's already on low, so I have got a, another one set up that uh, actually, so we can increase it. So I'll do both of those. So one recycles and I've just got the set going to every second. And then the other one turns it off after so many seconds. So I'll start both of those. And then we'll go into the up. And you can see every second it's going up a notch. So when it's going down, going skyward, that's every 17 seconds it's dropping the other one. So uh, as I say, this is just hopefully to let it set and forget that I can just let it go up by itself. Because uh, I find things don't climb out of the atmosphere very well on autopilot. And there we go, we're up to its maximum. Super awesome. And that should have uh, turned off self by now. So where are we? We're down here. 
not that one, that one. No, not that one, that one. Yeah, so that's off again. Cool, cool. Alright, so I think we are ready now. Uh, I've bored you enough with my timer setups. Let us go and uh, have a go at launching this. So we'll just get in a nice seat here, which uh, I can <laughs> um, see what's going on. And then I'll jump in, so do my shift K and go into the orbital thing. And the antenna's right up, so that's all good. Oh, the other thing I did was I put some beacons on, oh, and I set up the timers on the boosters as well to turn stuff off and disconnect and all that sort of thing. So that that's all good. So because I thought, yeah, I better put some beacons on the boosters so I don't lose them. And what am I looking for? The remote control. That one there, so we'll take control of that. Marvellous. All right, so got my launch on number two. And three. Actually, I won't count down because I can't remember how much the timer's got a countdown on it. So away we go. Oh, straight away. Okay, so it must be a trigger now. <laughs> right, go to that camera. So, yeah, we're just going straight up by the looks, which is good. Can sort of wobble a bit if I need to, but I don't need to. Actually, I do. So I need to just go a little bit over the... Uh, like so just roll a bit I might need to put another gyre on this because it's uh, yeah. okay, well, that should be good I just want to get over the lake so that these uh, the when the boosters drop off they end up landing on the lake so Hopefully that's all good. Just have another look. Actually, and I'll have a look at our hydrogen thrusters. How are they going? So I'm not touching the mouse or anything. It's it's just flying up by itself. Uh, where are we? Okay, so they're dropping down, but we're keeping keeping up. So the fuel, I figured that it gets down to about uh, when I hit ten thousand meters we still have hydrogen in our tanks so we're going to the small tanks and so still 40 percent yep and we're getting up to that point so i think we'll just try and straighten up again now because we must be over the top of that lake yeah i think so But anyway, let's uh, get rid of the boosters. Ah, there we go. And they're away. Awesome. Um, yeah, hopefully those parachutes open. I've got them set to open, so automatically 500 meters. But uh, we'll look forward. And yeah, I think I accidentally pressed that number two timer again. So potentially our timer for our thrust override. Uh, that one there might have reset. Yeah, it did reset. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well what we need to do is just keep an eye on that. still going down we'll just have to keep an eye on on that uh, but yeah so I mean look 96 percent uh, it's going real well so I've put this uh, I've put this GPS coordinate of where edge of space actually is so this is sort of something I set up but anyway uh, so I will just continue on with this and yeah you don't need to watch me go the next how far away is that? 25 k's or something? Can't see it. It's underneath that. But well, it's 22 k's to the gravity interface, and then I think it's about another six k's to the Sirius orbital platform from memory. So I will uh, come back to you when that is nearer, and we'll dock this thing up. 
But I've got to say, I'm really happy with how that's gone. Hmm. Right. Back in about 23Ks. So I've still got 10Ks to go. I've just jumped into the uh, entity list. Just to see, just in time to see these land. So hopefully they're going slow enough that they don't blow up when they hit the ground. Yeah, getting a bit quick. Oh, it's still locked on. Alright, I think that's a win. I might need to put on an extra um, parachute though. Hmm, anyway, back to, uh, back to our flight. Alright, so one thing I've already learnt is that uh, I need more back thrust to stop. Okay, but that's, that's not gone too badly. Oh, there we go. Uh, and also, I need a lock thing on here. Uh, let's just find that one will do. Why is... There we go. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so uh, let us now have a look in the Sirius station. We can. What can we do? We can go into. sort out this reactor. So we need to go into. Hmm. Osh. Alright, we'll go into the oxygen tank. So that's filling up, so the O2 generator is working. And got a camera here somewhere. I'll just get rid of those. So that one there, if we view that. Okay, and then if we turn on the welder. Aha! There we go. Alright. Now we'll go into the infantry and find the reactor. Oh, okay, so, okay, it's already got some uranium in there, but we can find some more uranium. So, pop that into there. Marvellous. All right, so that's that reactor sorted. So now we can turn on the safe zone. And we can enable that. Now we do need to configure the filter, so if we do the grids and add that, so that adds, there it is, oh, it's all coming together, marvellous, alright, and we'll just check where all the ice is, uh, so it's all still on the resupply cargo, so what we'll do is we'll hit it into the Sirius container, there's heaps here for it. Sirius. And Sirius. Okay, so that is our... Yeah, that's it. Empty. Okay, so now we'll just go back into there. We'll go back into that. We'll back off. Why can't we back off? go okay so there we go that is our resupply done awesome okay so now what I'll do is head back down now I've got this uh, other GPS coordinate in here to line up so we'll show that so if I line these both up then I should head back down to where I need to go. So there we go, and now we'll just turn off the dampers and just glide our way back down. Awesome, okay, so that is, uh, that's going to be us, I think. So I'll just make sure that this is going. I'm thinking about the parachutes more than anything. 
Where are all the parachutes? No more parachutes, where are you? There we go. So they're set to 500. Turn them on to auto deploy. Cool. Alright, so we will head back down to the planet. Uh, that was our very quick resupply mission. And yeah, hope to sort of set that up on an autopilot so I don't really have to worry about it. So with that, thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you'd enjoy it. And yeah, something a little bit different, but still the same. And yeah, hopefully you can catch me again next time. Don't know what we're going to do, but I'll have a think about that. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the uh, free fall. <laughs> Stay safe out there everybody. Have a good one.